Let's say we have a soul. Okay, in that solenoid, we know the current is changing at 75.0 amps per second. We know the number of turns of the solenoid, it's 500.0 turns. We know the length of the solenoid is 50.0 centimeters. We know the radius of the solenoid is 4.0 centimeters. I want to know a couple things. A, what is the self-inductance of the solenoid? B, what is the induced EMF in the solenoid as it changes? The induced EMF. Red sock. It starts, of course. Well, we can start with L equals the EMF over, or negative the EMF over the IDC. Okay, we'll start with the basic definition of the inductance, which is equal to negative of um, the negative of N times D. I'm sorry. Ah. Which one is it? Oh, sorry, EMF equals negative L D I D T. Okay, keep going. When we know the IDC. True, we know its value. We could plug that in, but at this this moment that's not going to help us out, but it's helpful to know in the long run. Other thoughts? How's it? If we place L with uh the problem is, this right here is not on your equation sheet. So we could derive that, certainly, but it's not on the equation sheet. Go ahead. Um, so I would start with all the things that E equals negative L, and E is right then. Tim? Take the negative out, we take the dt out, we get uh, L di equals n times derivative the d flux here. Take the integral of both sides, we get L times i equals n times the magnetic flux. We're solving for the self inductance here, so it's n times the magnetic flux divided by the current. Sure. Okay. What now? Time. There's no way to find the current. We know how the current is changing, but we can't actually figure out the current itself. So that's not going to get us there. Other thoughts? Flat. Uh, EMF induced is uh, negative n d uh, i and e over dt, so we cannot rearrange that. Yeah, we've already worked with it. It's like we can't work with the same formula again. That's not really going to get us there. So we have the, we're looking for the self inductance. We've already determined we really can't find the current. We know n. Zach? B A cosine theta. All right. Divided by the current. In this particular case, the uh, Henry's is going to be positive, so we're going to have the cosine of the angle between the magnetic field and the area vector is just going to be zero. So N B A times a cosine of zero degrees divided by the current. This is a solenoid. Is that? Good. So we have N times A divided by the current. What's the magnetic field for a solenoid? 
<laughs> Bless you. Close. I agree with that. Except we have a small issue here. It ends. Uh, tell me, Putterella, what's our issue? We're given, like, that, that's terms for meter. We're given terms and we're given terms of line. So you just do the uplease. So what do I replace this little end with then? Uh, end over L. We big replace big it with capital N, the big N, or the number of turns, divided by N. We'll use a lowercase L to determine the length rather than an uppercase L for the inductance. Current cancels out. We get the inductance equals mu naught times the area times N squared divided by L. Okay. So notice, does the inductance depend on the current going through the coil? Yeah. No. It shouldn't. Just like resistance doesn't depend on the current, right? It just depends on the geometry of the situation. So we used the magnetic field for a solenoid because that's the geometry of this particular item. So that is how we got to the inductance. We can now plug in numbers. We have the self-inductance is equal to mu naught 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 multiplied by n, the or area, which is just going to be pi times 0.04 squared multiplied by n, which was 500 squared divided by L, which was 50, 0 0.5. In other words, third 3.16, 3.16 what? What are the dimensions if I do 3.16? Jenkins? Millihenries. So now, part B, I want to know the induced EMF. Induced EMF, well, we now have the number of Henrys we have dI dt, so it's just negative L di dt. Or negative 0.003158 multiplied by di dt, which was 75. Uh, 0.3685. Or if you prefer 237, 237 Mohit dimensions. Uh, volts. No, sorry, millivolts. Millivolts. I converted over to you know, just for fun. 2.3 or point 237 millivolts. Yes. Wait, where did the negative go? Uh nowhere. Sorry about that. 